माई सेल्फ नीलेष सोनी ऑफ फोर्थ ईयर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सेमिनार ओवर द टॉपिक अर्थक्विक रेजिस्टेंस बिल्डिंग लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट माई प्रेजेंटेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स वॉट इज एन अर्थक्विक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अर्थक्विक रेजिस्टेंट डिजाइन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अर्थक्विक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सेस्मिक जोन इन इंडिया इंडियन सेस्मिक कोड्स कॉज ऑफ अर्थक्विक डैमेज इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ रेनफोर्समेंट रोल ऑफ हॉर्जेंटल बैंड रोल ऑफ वर्टिकल रेनफोर्समेंट प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ओपनिंग्स इन वॉल टिप्स फॉर अर्थक्विक रेजिस्टेंट डिजाइन केस स्टडी एंड कंक्लूजन सो वॉट इज एन अर्थक्विक अर्थक्विक इज अ ट्रिम्बलिंग और अ सेकिंग मूवमेंट ऑफ द ग्राउंड कॉज बाय द स्लीपेज और रप्चर ऑफ अ फॉल्ट विद इन द अर्थ क्रस्ट अ सडन स्लीपेज और रप्चर अलॉन्ग अ फॉल्ट लाइन रिजल्ट इन अब्रेप्ट रिलीज ऑफ इलेस्टिक एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन रॉक्स दैट आर सब्जेक्टेड टू ग्रेट स्ट्रेन अर्थक्विक इज अ नेचुरल फिनोमिना अकरिंग विद ऑल अनसर्ड ट्वेंटी ड्यूरिंग द अर्थक्विक ग्राउंड मोशन अकर इन अ रैंडम फो फैशन हेयर एंड देयर बोथ हॉर्जेंटली एंड वर्टिकली इन ऑल डायरेक्शन रेडिएटिंग फ्रॉम एपी सेंटर दिस कॉज स्ट्रक्चर टू वाइब्रेट एंड इंड्यूस इनर्सिया फोर्स ऑन दैम प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ अर्थक्विक रेजिस्टेंट डिजाइन The building cell with stand with almost no damage to moderate earthquake, which have probability of occurring several times during a life of a building. The building cell will not collapse or harm human lives during severe earthquake motion, which have a probability of occurring less than once during the life of the building. Rules for building design: the configuration of the building. should be as simple as possible the formation should generally be based on hard and uniform ground the members resisting horizontal force should be arranged so that the torsional deformation is not produced the structure of the building should be dynamically simple and definite the frame of the building structure should have adequate ductility in addition to required strength classification of earthquake there are mainly four type of earthquake slight moderate great and very great the magnitude of slight is 4.9 on the raster scale moderate 5.0 to 6.9 great 7.0 to 7.9 very great magnitude 8.0 and above classification of a seismic zone in india there are totally five zone in india so in in mainly zone 2 3 4 and 5 5 is the most dangerous zone which covers the entire northeastern india some part of jammu and kashmir ladakh himachal pradesh uttarakhand run and kutch and some of north bihar zone 4 cover remaining part of jammu kashmir ladakh some parts of uh, northern part of uttar pradesh bihar Gujarat zone 3 comprises of Kerala, Goa, Lakshadweep, Punjab, Rajasthan, Odisha and zone 2 cover remaining parts of the country. There are seismic codes, there are many seismic codes of earthquake for Indian seismic codes and IS 1893002 it is the Indian standard criteria for earthquake resistance IS 1432619993 Indian Standard Code for Practice for Earthquake IS 1382 Indian Standard Guideline for Improving Earthquake Resistance IS 13920 Indian Standard Code of of Practice for Ductile Detailing of Reinforcement and IS 13935993 Indian Standard Guideline for Repair and Seismic Seismic Effects on the Structure Inertia Force in Structure Earthquake cause shaking of the ground, so a building resting on it will experience a motion at its base. From Newton's first law of motion, even though the base of the building moves with the ground, the roof has a tendency to stay in its original position. But since the walls and columns are connected to it, they are drag the roof along with them. This is much like the situation that you are faced with when the bus. you are in standing in suddenly start you feel your feet move with the bus but your upper body tends to stay back 
making you fall backwards horizontal and vertical shaking earthquake cause shaking of the ground in all three direction along the two horizontal direction and the vertical direction also during the earthquake the ground shakes randomly back and forth aage piche along each of these x and y z directions cause of earthquake damage heavy dead weight and very stiff buildings attracting large seismic inertia very low tensile and shear strength particularly with poor mortars brittle behavior in tension as well as compression weak connection between wall and wall wall and roof stress concentration at corners of doors and windows masonry walls ground vibrating during earthquakes cause inertia force to travel through the roof and walls to the foundation the main emphasis is on the ensuring that these forces reach the ground without causing major damage or collapse of the three component of masonry building wall are the most vulnerable to damage caused by horizontal force due to earthquake it its improving behavior is given by the by box action a number of construction aspects are required to ensure box action ensuring good interlocking of the masonry cores at the junction employing horizontal bands at various level particularly at the lintel levels we see that in the diagram if the masonry walls is not goodly constructed then the toppling is happen and by by toppling we see, see this diagram of toppling of b walls b here and there in both diagrams and importance of reinforcement in masonry building the wall if construction with planned masonry would be incapable of resisting the magnitude of horizontal shear and bending force imposed on them during earthquake For this reason, in the modern reinforced masonry system, reinforcing steel is incorporated to resist the shear and tensile stress so developed. Role of horizontal bands: plinth band, lintel bands, roof band, and gable bands. Plinth band. This should be provided in those cases where the soil is soft or uneven in their properties, as it usually happen in hilly areas. Lintel bands. It is provided in that area. and most important band and covers all doors and windows lintels roof band in building with flat reinforced concrete or reinforced brick roof the roof band is not required because the roof slab always play the role of band but in the cgi seat a roof band needs to be provided in a building with pitched or slope roof the roof band is very important it is gable band it is employed only in building with pitched or slope roof we see in this diagram gable bands are this purple colors and roof band is of pink color and this is the two story with pitched roof we see in this diagram building with no horizontal lintel band collapse of roof and wall and in kilari village in building with horizontal lintel band has no damage It is the picture of the Lathur earthquake, nineteen ninety three, Central India. Linton bands are ties the walls together and create a support for walls loaded along weak direction from walls loaded in strong direction. This band also reduces the unsupported height of walls and thereby improve the stability in the weak direction. how vertical reinforcement helps even if horizontal bands are provided masonry buildings are weakened by the opening in their wall during earthquake shaking the masonry wall gets grouped in the three sub units namely spandrel masonry and wall pier masonry and sill masonry when the ground shake the inertia force caused the small size masonry wall piers to disconnect from the masonry above and below These masonry subunits rock back and forth, developing contact only at the opposite diagonal. The rocking of masonry pier can crush the masonry corners. Rocking is possible when masonry piers are cylinder. 
अदरवाइज द पेयर आर मोर लाइकली टू डेवलप डायग्नल एक्स टाइप ऑफ सीयर क्रैकिंग दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ फेलियर इन मैसेनरी बिल्डिंग समटाइम द बिल्डिंग में ऑल्सो स्लाइड एट द प्लिथ लेवल इम्बेडिंग वर्टिकल रीनफोर्समेंट बार्स इन द एजेस ऑफ द वॉल पायर्स एंड एंकरिंग दैम इन द फाउंडेशन एट द बॉटम एंड इन द रूफ बैंड एट द टॉप फोर्स द सिलेंडर मैसेनरी पायर्स टू अंडर गो बेंडिंग इंस्टेंट ऑफ रॉकिंग इन वेंडर वॉल पायर्स द वर्टिकल बार्स इन्हेंस देयर कैपेबिलिटी टू रजिस्ट द हॉर्जेंटल अर्थक्विक फोर्स एंड डिले द एक्सक्रेस क्रैकिंग फर्दर द वर्टिकल बार्स ऑल्सो हेल्प प्रोटेक्ट द वॉल फ्रॉम स्लाइडिंग एज वेल एज फ्रॉम कोलेप्सिंग इन द वीक डायरेक्शन protection of openings in wall the most common damage observed after an earthquake is diagonal x cracking of wall pyres and also inclined cracking at the corner of doors and window when a wall with an opening deforms distort and become more like a rhombus steel bar provided in the wall masonry all around the rack opening restrict these cracks at the corners thus lintel and sill bands above and below opening and vertical edges provide the protection against this type of damage so this is the our can this is the our conventional process of resisting earthquake building to resist the earthquake building so let us discuss tips for earthquake design resistant design the building plan should be regular in shape such as square or rectangular no wall in room should exceed 6 meter length use pilasters or cross wall for longer walls in hilly terrain it should not exceed 3.5 meter in length the height of each story should be kept below 3.2 meter provided a rcc band of 4 inches thickness throughout the run along wall the lintel passing over the doors and windows the thickness of load bearing wall should be at least 200 mm the clear width between door and nearest window should not be less than 600 mm top 3 earthquake resistance technology shock absorbers pendulum for skyscrapers seismic clocks so let us discuss what is shock absorbers we all have heard about cars having shock absorbers but what you but what you didn't know is that building have them too these shock absorbers work exactly the same way the cars shock absorber it reduces the magnitude of the shock wave by converting the seismic wave energy into heat energy which is then transferred into hydraulic fluid this is the reason why the shock absorber called dampers pendulum for skyscraper this method was invented to earthquake proof skyscrapers that are already built the technique is really simple all you need to do is suspend a large ball of huge mass with steel cables in a fixed structure at the top of the building so when the building start to sway during earthquake the ball acts like a pendulum due to inertia counteracting force of earthquake wave the ball will sway the opposite direction seismic invisibility clock Yes you read it right invisibility clocking can save you from getting squeezed during an earthquake here's how earthquake spread on terrain as waves that create the vertical movement on the surface making building sway to prevent this movement some engineers place 100 plastic rings in the foundation of a building which the work as a cloak and make the wave invisible top 5 earthquake resistance building in the world sabia Gokan International Airport in Istanbul, Transmia Pyramid in Sasvico, Burj Khalifa in Dubai, Taipei One Zero One in China, Philippine Arena in Philippines. Case study of the Taipei One Zero One. Taipei One Zero One is said as one of the most mesmerizing superstar skyscrapers in the world. The biggest tuned mass damper in the world. It's basically a chained metal ball. that counteract the big transient loading wind to reduce the sway of the super towers the tmd is supported by hydraulic damper arms and bumpers system which function in the same way as a core shock absorber which i tell in previous slide when large forces act upon the tower the tmd sway in the opposite direction bringing the entire 
building into equilibrium by damping out the transient force using the ball's mass. This earthquake damper system is located between 87th floor and 92nd floor level in the TAPE 101. Conclusion Earthquake resistance construction is important in earthquake prone area. The building can resist earthquake force with almost no damage. The building should not collapse or harm human full lives during severe earthquake motion. It is the most important thing that no harm of any human lives should be happen. However, these structures will be unequivocal. Thank you.